Thank you for being with us this evening. I'm Erin Christie. Karen has a night off and Naomi is on assignment. First at six, the family of a car crash victim last year in Sand Springs is calling a plea deal for the driver in that crash appalling. Two News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani spoke to families of last September's crash victims near Charles Page High School and has more. We're their voices now and we like to talk, we've got loud voices, and we're going to put them to good use for this situation. Jeannie Blatchford and Corey Fletcher say they'll always be Kylie Weaver's protectors, even more than a year after she passed away on September 15th, 2022, after leaving Charles Page High School during lunch break. The car she was in had four other teens. Two of them, Ethan Gibson and Kira Sainer, also died. The car was driven by fellow student Sierra Matthews, who tested positive for THC and had several marijuana products in the car. Logan Childers was in the passenger seat in the crash. Whenever I wake up thinking all these things and try to look on the brighter end and then hear these things happening, it just makes it a little bit harder to accept. It's something more than six to 18 months of a slap on the wrist of, of grounding. It really feels like she was grounded and my daughter's gone. Kira Sanders stepmother Michelle Burcham is referring to the plea deal Matthews accepted as a youthful offender Tuesday. She faced three counts of first degree automobile manslaughter and one count of DUI but only has to fulfill a treatment plan until she turns 19. The Tulsa County District Attorney's Office statement reads to us in part, quote, Our office was faced with a situation where there were no winners. Oklahoma state statutes require that a 16-year-old charged with first-degree manslaughter is presumed to be a youthful offender. Those who saw Matthews in the courthouse for her sentencing Tuesday say they witnessed a lack of remorse. She jokes about it yesterday at court. She's in the hallway giggling and laughing while well, we're all over there sitting there crying. Um, the during they had to come out and actually ask them to be quiet because yeah. they were laughing so loud. It was frustrating as for all of us. It's not just my grandson that got killed. It's her daughter and, and the other daughter, Kira. And uh, I mean, goodness gracious, folks. The families we met with by the crash site here Wednesday say that behavior shown in the courtroom and the sentencing that came out Tuesday is not fair to the memories of those victims and shows the law is being taken advantage of. They tell us they'll continue fighting for change. 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 Don't be driving if you are impaired in any way, shape yeah. or form. No matter the age, it shouldn't matter the age. In Sand Springs, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. And Matthews faces another hearing next month for fines and finalizing her treatment plan.